Today, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, sulfur lipids and to answer this question, uh, why lipids, especially why sulfur lipids? We know lipids are an essential component of the cell membrane. The structure is typically made of a glycerol backbone, two fatty acid tails, hydrophobic part, and the polar head group, hydrophilic part. So they are amphifatic uh, molecules that are able to form uh, by layers open hydration in uh, aqueous media. So uh, this feature uh, leads the, these lipids to their application in a lipid-based carrier system for a small molecule therapeutics or nucleic acid delivery. Uh, actually, LMP systems have evolved substantially over the past 30 years from initial formulation composed of phospholipids and uh, cholesterol. The latest version of LMP is composed of, uh, as you seen in the picture, ionizable cationic lipids, neutral ionizable lipid, cholesterol, phospholipids, and polyethylene gly glycol peg lipids. And uh, uh, definitely the molecule for entrapment like sRNA or uh, mRNA. So uh, among these uh, composition, ionizable cationic lipids play several important roles in LMP-based delivery systems. First, under acidic conditions, the lipid is positively charged, which is crucial to entrap the negatively charged nucleic acid polymer within the nanoparticle. The second uh, feature is that the lipid has to produce LMPs with the overall LMP surface charge close to neutral. Also, in an acidified uh, endosome pH 5 to 6, the lipid must uh, exhibit a positive charge in order to interact with uh, endogenous anionic lipids. And last but not least, to efficiently deliver the nucleic acid payload, the lipid must exhibit a physical uh, shape that causes the formation of uh, H2 phase, uh, hexagonal lipid phase. Uh, so in this manner, two lipids, uh, uh, two two uh, examples of the cationic lipids are introduced: DODAP, the left one, and DILIN DMA, the right one. Among them, DODAP is not competent because it is uh, it's uh, degraded to, uh, so rapidly. Presumably, the ester group is hydrolyzed rapidly in vivo system, whereas DILIN DMA is toxic because it's essentially degraded so slowly, and that's the bad news for the animals. The question that was asked here is that, is there a possibly, uh, possibility to create a lipid with a chemical stability in between? And uh, the answer to this question leaded to new kind of uh, lipids with ketone and uh, ester functional group in the head part. Dealing KC2, the uh, first lipid, and uh, MC3, dealing uh, MC3, the second one. Uh, these uh, lipids have excellent in vivo efficacy. MC3 is higher than KC2, and uh, they have acceptable toxicity and pKa in range 6.4. Actually, uh, between MC3 and KC2, MC3 is easier to make. Six, six steps for MC3 and nine steps for KC2. In our research group, we have made uh, 40 grams MC3 and 10 grams KC2 for various MMIN research projects. So we have experience in dealing with these lipids. And from that, it has been found uh, KC2, MC3, in general, dealing family are oxygen sensitive. These lipids have two lipophilic chain with two uh, conjugated cis double bonds. And because of these moieties, these lipids turn yellow after exposure to, to the air. There is high possibility of peroxidation of this allylic position, which is uh, very active, and also double bond isomerization. Double, double bond isomerization means uh, cis to trans isomerization of carbon-carbon uh, uh, double bond. So considering these drawbacks, the uh, present uh, uh, work uh, aims to determine whether a symmetrical placement of fatty chains may be beneficial. It's well known that uh, sulfur atoms and uh, cis carbon carbon double bond are uh, bioisoesters. So, as a result, with the replacement of carbon carbon double bond with sulfur atoms, novel, novel sulfur containing lipids uh, were designed. 
The structure of the sulfur containing lipids are shown in this slide. MF19, FS107, FS109, and FS78. MF19, FS107, and 109 with a lipophilic chain containing two sulfur atoms uh, in the tail and polar head groups, same as MC3 head groups, were synthesized in 11 and 12 steps. 11 steps for MF19, 12 steps for FS107 and 109. In these three lipids, uh, the distance between sulfur atoms has changed to study their efficacy in vivo system. The other lipid, the last one, FS78, has a sulfur atom in the head part with same tail as in uh, MC3 and KC2. This lipid afforded in 14 steps. The synthetic uh, routes uh, to sulfur lipid were optimized in this project. As uh, an example, the uh, uh, synthetic route for MF19 has been shown here. This lipid has been made from cheap and available starting material, 1,8 octane diol, uh, compound one, mono THP protection of 1,8 octane diol, and elaboration of the resulting alcohol to bromide three set the stage for a Grignard synthesis of alcohol four. The alcohol four then protected as the silyl ether for rest of the uh, experiment. Then the two sulfur atoms were added to the tail part within four steps. The final, uh, the, the intermediate alcohol 12 used for final esterification with four dimethyl amino butyric acid to afford the target uh, lipid MF19 with uh, good uh, overall yield. In the next step, the uh, new sulfur lipids were used for LMP formulation. LMP uh, uh, mRNA systems composed of ionizable cationic lipid, DSPC, cholesterol, peg lipid at molar ratio of 50%, 10%, 38.5%, and 1.5%. Uh, uh, Polydispersity index um, size and entrapment of the resulting nanoparticle is shown here. For MF19, PDI of the resulting nanoparticle was approximately half of that observed with the benchmark MC3 and KC2. And also PKA for MF19 is uh, 6.39, uh, which is uh, acceptable compared to PKA of MC3 and KC2, 6.4. The uh, two of sulfur lipids, FS107 and FS109, showed a uh, lower uh, entrapment. So having uh, the LMPs in hand, in vivo evaluation of compounds versus M MC3 and KC2 using Lucifer's mRNA was invest very investigated. We observed, uh, we observed comparable expression in liver to KC2 and uh, superior in the spleen. So sulfur lipids uh, like MF19, FS107, and 109 produced uh, nanoparticles that targeted the spleen with high selectivity. Uh, uh, and uh, also FS78 with sulfur atom on the head part, uh, same tail as the MC3, was completely inefficacious. In other attempt, uh, knockout of uh, factor seven in mice for MF19 versus MC3 investigated. In terms of uh, efficacy in the customary factor seven assay, MF19 was at least uh, as potent as MC3 with almost complete knockdown at 0.3 milligram per kilogram. This result uh, supports the hypothesis that replacement of the potentially tr troublesome cis double bond with sulfur atoms retains or possibly enhances bioactivity. In summary, a new classes of ionizable cationic lipids containing sulfur yields LMP formulations of sRNA and mRNA that are efficacious. The uh, biodegradable nature of these lipids could result in improved tolerability in uh, vivo. And this may lead to new classes of lipids, especially sulfur, sulfur lipids, with improved biological profiles. Uh, provisional patent application on uh, sulfur containing lipids uh, filed on January 2021, and conversion to PCT filed on January 2022.
With that, I would like to thank all people and experts helped us. Uh, I sincerely appreciate your attention and I'm happy to take uh, any of your questions. Thank you very much, Fariba. And I'm pleased to open the floor to questions from the audience. To give people a chance to uh, type, I will ask a question first. So Fariba, could you speak to the stability of the new sulfur lipid compared to D-Lin lipids? Oh, yeah, uh, great question. Yeah, this, uh, these lipids are uh, quite stable. From my experience, uh, compared to KC2 and MC3, they are more stable. Still, we prefer to store them under argon and in the fridge because for MC3 and KC2, this is only choice. We should, uh, choice. We should keep them under argon or nitrogen atmosphere in a uh, freezer. For, MC, for uh, MF19 and MF19 family, we are doing the same. But, uh, but still, sulfur atoms make this uh, lipid sustainable for uh, degradability. So uh, we, we don't want to make completely stable uh, lipids because they are not good for in vivo studies. But compared to MC3 with the cis conjugated double bond, they are quite stable. Great, thank you. And Marshall, do we have any questions or hands? Indeed, Diana Royce has raised her hand to speak. So Diana, I've uh, unmuted you from our end. Please go ahead. You have to unmute yourself though. There you go. Okay, great. I also typed my question in for you, Fariba. Um, this is very interesting research. And on your slide where you talked about uh, the L LUC mRNA, yeah. uh, you noted the work was done in collaboration with Nanovation Therapeutics. So I have two questions for you. Um, what is of interest to the company in this in this part of your research project and how do you find doing research that has relevance to um, industry how do you find that uh, different or do you find that different from doing uh, research uh, just directly for publication and discovery Thank you, Diana. Great question. So we chose uh, luciferase uh, because we wanted to be we very interested to see if we can uh, uh, entrap and do the delivery for mRNA as well as srna. srna is well known and uh, we we have the first result shows uh, MF19 especially is working great in this manner. So we decided to check MF, uh, mRNA, which is most uh, more important. So for that reason, we asked uh, uh, Nanovation uh, and they accepted kindly to do this uh, for us. We used luciferase expression. And uh, yeah, definitely this uh, uh, project uh, has the potential to uh, move to another state, to clinical stage and in this industrial usage. 